was chosen, why didn't you approach him for the Hindi version? See, to start with, like already we clarified a couple of times in this meet that this version has got very different kind of an approach to make uh, it in that sense. There it was a slightly gimmicky aspect because of the Rajkumar connection, whereas uh, the Rajkumar aspect is itself not there in this film to start with. And second point about fact and fiction, what you're asking, you see, eventually any kind of, a, when you're especially dealing with such sensitive material like uh, Virapan, which, is high, which most of the time happen in high secrecy, you have to depend upon people who are directly associated it could be the investigating cops or people who actually interacted with Veerappan over the course of time. And when you connect the dots, what looks the most believable, of course supported by some kind of an evidence, uh, is what I eventually took as the truth. Yeah. So, so is there any attempt sir, on your right? Sir? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So perhaps is there any attempt to glorify Veerappan through this film? I mean, something like see, to start, I, I mean, see, the point is, Anybody who is, if we depict him very realistically, you know, I think there is a certain sense of glorification because you get awed by people who are on the other side, who are not, uh, who are like rebels, who are like uh, against the establishment and uh, who are uh, prone to, I mean, break the order, law and order, whatever you call, you know. So I would say there will be an awe about him, but at the same time, you see a human element and which is what the investigating police officers have to understand this psyche. Like a, a very interesting thing I'll tell you, like one police officer told me that one of the biggest mistakes we made uh, in trying to catch him was we assumed him to be intelligent. So we were trying to outsmart him, but then we realized he's like a kid, and you can't outsmart a kid because a kid is unpredictable. <laughs> but to call Virapan a kid itself is very wrong in a sense because we associate a kid with a nice cute, which Virapan was not. So I think there's a there's the tremendous unpredictability in his character of how to uh, capture it. I mean, how he, what is going to do next is uh, one of the main reasons I was interested in doing this film. Okay. Also, talking about Twitter, last night you were trending because of your certain tweets uh, related to Mr. Rajni Khan. So apparently fans have taken some offense. So would you like to say anything about that? See, I think some of those Rajni fans are so dumb. They didn't even understand I was complimenting him. See, a very handsome man, if he becomes a big star, what's the big deal? That happens all the time. But Rajnikanth who looks like that is a big star is a compliment, which means God favors him much more than anyone else. That's what I meant, actually. So, but the dumb guys didn't understand that is a compliment. So, would you perhaps like to make a film with him in the future? I think Rajni sir, fans will kill me if I go there. You know? So, unless I, I, all those dumb guys go out, I'm not going to go there. After Rahul is starting a bola, कि आपको विलेंस की फिल्में बहुत पसंद आती हैं क्योंकि कहीं ना कहीं अंदर है दिल में तो आप कैसे अगर होते विलेन पर्सनल लाइफ में कैसे होते रावण जैसे होते हैं विरोपन जैसे होते हैं या तो पांसिंग तो विलेन कहीं था यार आई थिंक आई बी लाइक यू अनुराग पांडे इतना स्वीट स्माइल है बट आई नो द ट्रूथ सो आई थिंक या लक्ष्मी का कैरेक्टर डेफिनेटली चैलेंजिंग है और चैलेंजेस ये थे कि फर्स्ट डे का शूट था और जंगल में था शूटिंग और एक्चुअल दैट वाज एक्शन सीक्वेंस और एक्शन सीक्वेंस मैंने कभी किया नहीं था फाइट मास्टर थे उन्होंने दिखाया कि ये 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 करना है ही वाज लाइक वेरी कूल एंड ये करना है मैंने कहा करना है मैंने कभी किया नहीं है तो ही